And good morning, boys and girls. This is your old pal, Uncle Al. Yeah, using your razor. If I don't shave three times a day, I look like Steve, of course, or it's trainer. Okay. Originally, this is going to be the long, hard, tough road. And I thought, well, we're tired. Why not learn about more dirty tricks? I like dirty tricks because we're going to need it for the long, tough road ahead for us. A lot of you kids don't understand that. I got to stop saying kids. A lot of you folks got to understand that. Yes, my face looks a lot better and my eye does look a lot better. Always enjoy getting sucker punched by a 69 year, 67 year old, 67 year old woman trying to get a flashlight. It's a very good flashlight. Now we do another review on that. Um, it's about 580 lumens. It's really good. Uh, it has adjustment sight and everything, and it's a little bigger than my other 4AA battery one. Why do I choose 4AA instead of rechargeable or everything else? It's more high tech. I can't get the batteries for lithium at a gas station at 3 in the morning. I can get AAA or I can get AA. I can't get lithium 1.5 volt battery from a gas station out in the Hicks or overseas. They kind of look at you, we don't uh, speak English, or we do not speak English, sir. Uh, okay. I did get my flyer for the week. Dirty tricks. And there's a lot of things I can't buy. But there was one thing that everybody should have, and it's this one. It's a GPS unit by Garvin. It's on sale. These run usually about 200 bucks. Good model. And a lot of people forget about that because you need one of these outdoors. Because a lot of you are high tech. And I do recommend it for the bolt bag. Now, uh, we have guns and everything. But a lot of people don't understand that you get arch resets, 20% off. You get all your camping gear. This caught my eye was a youth freestyle, three pound, 45 degree rating sleeping bag, that's a summer bag, for $9.99. Now, I've got him small enough and he can't fit in one of those. But it's going to be a tight squeeze. Usually I use it as a spare if I have grand nephews or, or the kids around for an overnighter. And also for nine bucks. For a 45 degree um, sleeping bed. It's better than blankets. It wraps the child in something nice and warm. And it's rated up about four, four, uh, 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that's real good. And not for under 10 bucks or around 10 bucks. That's a really good buy. So when I see a sale on those, I'll pick up a few. And also if I need to, I can use that as a sleeping pad. To insulate me from the ground. So that also works bandage. You learn all sorts of neat tricks. And again, for 40 50 bucks, you get a wonderful compound bow for youth. And do remember, Uncle Alan, do support the Second Amendment. Virginia also passed a clause that you can't throw missiles, which is bows and arrows, slingshots, snowballs rocks things into the air it's considered an assault weapon you gotta stop these fools write to them get them out of the office vote for them complain and finally throw a lot of poo at their office cat poo dog poo people poo you name it just poo because virginia bought out their election and i know who by whom and it starts with the initials mb so check him out and he's never middle class. If he's middle class, then I'm the next lotto winner. Okay? Dirty trick number one. For a long, tough road ahead. See this? This is styrofoam. Not very green, but it has a purpose. You can get sheets of these. This is a small sheet of brick. You cover this in fabric. Okay? 
fabric because a lot of you people have less strength. Okay, you put on, all right, like this. Make sure it's completely covered. Okay, you put either um, the type of uh, thing that fastens, I can't think of the word right now, I have brain damage. Okay, but it hooks onto your refrigerator by these little pad things. And I just can't remember it. So you got this hooked up, why? Because it reduces, uh, whatchamacallit, it's a quilt to keep your refrigerator cool or more cold when it's running. And it cr increases your in insulation rate by about 10%. Now a lot of people think about that, no. And uh, what, this last fa this fall, we lost a lot of food because people don't make these simple things and put on their refrigerator doors or sides. And think about it. Yeah, uh, normally I carry a bandana, a big one. And there's several tricks you can do with a bandana. From a face mask, and if you look, put a fish weight in it and roll it up properly, there's a way. It's a kosh. Now, I do like the bandana, but it's a little thin. So what Uncle Alan does, I buy these cable napkins. Sorry about that. It's a little dirty. I have blood stains all over it. It's a good sized table napkin. I could do the exact same thing. Where does the face mask? Okay. Okay, I wrap it up. There's a way with doing the triangle. Fold. And if you're bleeding, and put these bandage around it. That's why we have these band bandages and two, what, safety pins. So it makes a bandage. And you can wash these out. Now, Hubble's cat says four inch square gauze. Fine. But if you're on the run, four inch square gauze is going to fall unless you put it against something that'll hold it and keep it in place. That's experience. Sorry, this runs long. Uh, another reason why Uncle Alan always says get a meat grinder because Uncle Alan won't starve. Okay, a lot of people don't understand I can cook. Now, if I hear some bozos, oh, your your food storage system's not correct or some other bo baloney, Uncle Alan won't starve. Okay, I know how to cook and I have the right tools. You should be all nervous. Sorry about that. I thought I was a little tired. Okay, Dutch oven cooking. Please check it out. They have the sizes for the ovens in here. There, once I saw that, I said, wow, what does America doesn't have but the rest of the world has? And you look at the Dutch oven, and 90% of you don't understand or don't see it. Okay, in Japan, we have it. In India, they have it. In Africa, they have it. And it's a lid. It's not metal. What do they have? Usually, sometimes the pot comes without the lid. And then you have a pot, but you have to keep the stuff covered. So what does a lot of locals do? They make a wooden lid that compresses tightly on top of the rim or in the rim to keep the food moistures in. Japan does it for a long time, and they have a pretty good working in. It's a woodworker. Now, if you work with wood, measure the diameter of, of the Dutch oven. Now, I don't know if Anthony still works with wood, but think about it. And it can't be something like plywood. It has to be natural pieces of wood. Japan, they use three pieces of wood. You got the handle. And you got two sides okay all jointed not a one piece of metal in it it's a wooden lid they do it in Africa they do it in South America and you have no clue what's going on 
okay? If you're a woodworker, you have to remember, it deals with the grain of the wood, what kind of joint you have to put in, three pieces of wood. I'll let you stew about that for a little bit, because a lot of you guys don't understand half the things Uncle Alan's talking to you. That's fine. You went to college, like Stanford. Oh, you can't say that. That's the proper mistermination. And I go, you, uh, you know, F word, F word, something to do with a cow, shove it up here, you know what, where the sun don't shine. I don't really care. Okay? On this. Okay? My pro counsel, as always, is a buck knife. I always attach this in regards to practicing. you got to find the sweet spot. So it's from here to there. Uncle Alan used to sell these at trade shows and stuff. That's still a good price. Plus, they always have a little wrench with it. See? So you have to find the sweet spot right here. Normally I use the other end, but. And then you move it up and down, find the point that you can click it open and make sure it's tight. Now, with this model, with the plastic models, it's always tight about here. Now, carefully, okay, like that, to a midpoint, and then click your wrist and it'll pop open. That's all you do. Let's say this is the fulcrum point where gravity and the moment of your wrist takes forces of your wrist, gravity. And when you flick your wrist, that's momentum. The blade will react to the inertia and goes that way. While the rest of you just go that way. And if you do it fast enough and quick enough and you handle this and practice this constantly, it is about fast as Uncle Al. Now, a lot of people will pull out switch blades and try to activate that and they're like, oh, Uncle Alan has four of them already out and three of them are in my head. Okay, kids, I'll catch you later. Another weird chat with Uncle Al. Bye.